Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to go over the sun tokens and a little bit of a floof guide, but really just to try and get you as many tags as possible. As you can see right here. That's a ton of tags. All right, sun tokens are possibly the worst tokens to get. It requires a ton of animal captures. And as you can see here, we need a ton of different tags in order to buy these tokens. Quick plug, come check me out on my twitch.tv channel at twitch.tv slash die, where I do all the recordings for a lot of these videos in real time. Now, as all the tokens in the Heart of Deimos are kind of needed, uh, this is probably the least needed, except it is tied to the Hellman system, so you do need to work towards that. Also, quickly, in today's specials, you can buy a lot of these tanks for plat. Please, please, please do not do this. It's honestly a waste. Typically, you're going to need to buy a lot of lures here. You can see on this tab right here. But uh, with this strategy, we're, we're not going to use any. It's going to be a lot better and a lot more efficient. At the end of the day, it's worth to get every single token because that's going to allow you to get grandmother tokens, which give you more rep, allows you to buy more materials, etc., etc. So let's go ahead and break that down. I'm going to show you guys a map of the routes I use and just a quick gameplay on getting these many tags as quickly as possible. All right, the best way to farm tags is to technically just go out into free roam and just go around the world finding every animal you can to capture. Now on the screen, I have put a fancy dancy map and this is kind of what I follow. I have two different routes, one that just hugs the outer perimeter that finds all the different animals that are just sitting on the outside edges. They seem to have a higher spawn rate out there. Uh, and then once I've done one route of that, I do kind of a figure eight in the middle to find all the Heart of Deimos uh, K-Drive animals. And those are a little bit harder to find, but those are worth a lot of tags as well. If you just repeat route one to route two, you'll get a ton of tags. I'm talking anywhere between 60 to 80 tags every 30 minutes. Now, there are a few uh, rare animals out in the world that you need to pay attention to, like trying to find the birds. Those are hard to get, but everything else is pretty straightforward and easy to find. Guys, I'm going to show my 30-minute run that I did have a double resource booster. It got me up to about 140-plus tags. Uh, I'm going to put that in about 10 times the speed, so it should be pretty quick. But if you guys want to check it out and see how efficient it is, here it is.